checking. You're now live. We are now live. Are we live on Facebook too? Hold on, we're just so. waiting for Facebook. Drum roll. Your countdown is now on. <laughs> Perfect. Hello, we're everybody. Live okay, we're live on Facebook and we're uh, live on Instagram. Hi, hello. everybody. I'll wave at people as they come through. Hello, so, hello, hello. we are here to do our monthly plant based roundup of what we've We are a little to. bit late. Like we are a, a little bit late. Bit late. So yeah, we were supposed to do it a couple of weeks ago, but as many of you may know who follow us, we just launched the Plant-Based Food Awards. So um, yeah, that was, a, that was our big project this month, and we've got another one which we're going to announce at the end of the video. But let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Like, we have a <laughs> lot of news. Yes. There is a lot to go through, again, because... So it's more like a six-week roundup. It is more like a six-week, yeah, yeah. We're like two weeks late, mm -hmm, so we've mm -hmm. got a lot to go through. Yeah, okay. So, well, we're going to start as we always do with our should, monthly roundup. Should we introduce ourselves first? Like, should we say who we okay, are? Do you okay. think everyone Just knows? Just for new followers. Know. So, I'm Joanna. and I'm, I'm Max. Hello. And um, we're Root the Future. And we um, basically started Root the Future because we want to build the plant-based and sustainability community and advocate uh, for plant-based businesses and for sustainable businesses. And... Um, yeah, that's really why that is we us, started. Isn't it? Yeah. We want to grow this amazing industry that is mm -hmm. plant-based food mm -hmm. and sustainable operations mm -hmm. throughout the whole of Thailand. Yeah, so we do that through videos and photos and fun things like the awards, which we have a QR code here. Yeah, and I'm sure like there are some people even watching in here that probably have them with them now or have <laughs> recently voted. But Who's seen these around Bangkok? Everywhere we go, we see them, which is very exciting. It just shows the industry and how, how much it's growing at the moment. And not just Bangkok, they're in Phuket and they're in Chiang Mai. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. definitely, like if, when you're out and about, I, we've spoken to a few people recently and they said, oh, I'm going on holiday in Chiang Mai. I'm like, just take some pictures of these, would you, and share them with us. <laughs> so let's, let's begin. Yes. Um, where are we? We have our notes here because, like we said, this is like a six-week six roundup. Can I come in? Yeah, yeah, oh, shimmy. Um, so we're going to tell you about all the news that's been happening in uh, Thailand that we've been covering about sustainability and plant-based food over the last six weeks rather than month this time. Um, and yeah, like we said, a lot's happened this month. Um, so where should we start? We've also been eating lots, as we usually do, so we're going to give you an update <laughs> on all the amazing plant-based food that we've been um, trying. But we must say, we do have a very special announcement, so make sure, make sure you stick around to the end of this video, or come back and watch on TV. Um, to see what the special announcement You've is. You've got to hang around to we're the end. We're so excited. You I have can't to hang even... around to the end. And you know, we, we really want to show, the reason why we're doing these monthly roundups is because we really want to show how many, how much things is actually happening mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's related to plant-based news. This and is like a, a plant-based news episode. It is, yeah. yeah. Exactly, okay. exactly that. So we'll start. So let's get into it. At the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning of this month, or the beginning after the last time we did our roundup, um, we, have, we released um, a post about six coffee chains around Bangkok, specifically chains, because sometimes that's the only thing that's available if you want a coffee, that offer plant-based milks. And we did a roundup of that, and our favorite one on the list, I think it was Dean and DeLuca, because they actually offer soy milk for free. So I know. we hate paying extra for the, the milk that's the sustainable and cruelty-free milk. So Dean and DeLuca get extra points on, on our books for that. But you know what? You can go into 7-Eleven and you can go to that little cafe mm -hmm. or into Family Mart and use their cafe and they have a selection of yeah. plant milks as well. It's not just the one that they have. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we added them in the list because we think that that's pretty cool. Do any of you guys ever go into Family Mart or 7-Eleven um, and pick up like a, an almond milk or a soy milk and then say, hey guys, can you please make me a latte? Because then they're basically just like a plant-based cafe, right? Literally. Could yeah, be, I mean. Literally. <laughs> Um, we also visited Nature's Charm at the beginning of this month. Last month when we did our roundup, Nature's Charm Cafe had just opened and we managed to get the chance to go there and we tried, on Mother's Day, we tried their blue macaroons, which were amazing. And the blue pancakes with the salted caramel. And the baby chinos, oh. which were also blue. We did a blue post, so go and check that out. Yeah, it's worth, um, it's worth and, checking out because it's drool worthy. Yes, and a couple of weeks ago we actually visited Nature's Charm and we tried their very famous fish and chips, which is made from banana blossom. And their chicken pops. And, Made from jackfruit. Yeah, and the, uh, what else did we try? Oh, uh, we got a band. Yeah, incredible. That was amazing. I would highly recommend all those. And three. we were talking about this post because, like, we feel like it's important to shed light on that there are certain ingredients that are used, like banana blossom and jackfruit, mm -hmm. that are naturally occurring yeah. whole food ingredients. Mm -hmm. And they don't necessarily need to be processed yeah. to be, like, 
alternative meats. Don't get me wrong, we love plant-based meat, but it is nice just to have a whole food version it? sometimes. So it's good to know that they're around and mm. also like in the form of fish and chips. Right. What more could you want? Right. Banana blossom and potatoes turn into fish and chips. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next. Um, if you haven't already seen it, we did launch a very exciting ice cream video. We had um, Noi and Bonnie come and join us and try six plant-based ice creams. And I must say, we were kind of jealous sitting behind the camera know, thinking, know, they all look so tasty. But the good thing is, I mean, we they, they sent a lot of ice creams. So we tried <laughs> a lot of ice cream. So even yeah. though we were filming behind and mm -hmm. like asking, like prodding questions occasionally, we were just like, arr, arr, arr. Mm -hmm. So go check that video out. They did, um, yeah, they reviewed six ice creams and um, yeah, they'll let you know what they think of them. Um, next, we visited Good Soul. So all the new restaurants that we were talking about, we've actually visited them all. Um, this month, so we went to Nature's Charm, we went to Plantiful also, we tried the nachos, which are epic, by the way. Um, and then we went to Good Souls as well, so we did a quick little snippet video on Good Souls and all the epic food they've got there. And you should sit, you should go over and check, just look at the vast amount mm -hmm. of food that we brought for the table and just look how incredible it looks. Um, what were your favourites? I can't remember, what, we, what did we get? Oh, so we my favourite was... The smoothie bowls are really good. The pancakes were delicious. And the falafels. They have yeah. a huge menu, so actually, like, it's quite difficult. But go and check that video out. It might help you decide if you want to head they, over there. A lot of you might know them from Chiang Mai because mm -hmm. they have um, a Chiang Mai res a restaurant in Chiang Mai or yeah. two, maybe. Um, but they recently opened there, and people have just been flooding there because it's so popular in Chiang Mai. Yeah. Uh, I think they're missing a, f a couple of um, menu items that they have they're in gonna Chiang, bring Chiang Mai. Them over soon, though, I think. Yeah, I think anyway, so. Anyway, the menu is really, really good. Um, oh yes, another vegan cheese launch this month, which is really exciting. And yet another one. Another one. Yet so another I think cheese. maybe someone needs to open like a plant-based cheese deli or something because there's just like a lot going on. I, I mean, that's a good idea. Maybe we should. Hmm. <laughs> that's, um, that's not the news. We so haven't said it. the name of the cheese. Okay, so butter me up. They have um, peanut butters and like chocolate peanut butters and stuff, which are also really good. Their chai spice peanut butter is amazing but they just launched a couple of weeks ago their vegan cheese as well which we made a pizza from we did yeah um yeah. they have the two types of cheese the sliceable cheese and also the soft cheese and what was the soft cheese what did you say it's the a soft bit like borsin like? a borsin cheese yeah, yeah it's very herby and it's really delicious yeah it's um, good and also zero waste yes so what the uh, the it's what's it made from it's made from i think they're made from almonds, almonds right yeah. so all the split almonds and the almonds that they can't use for the milk mm -hmm. are used in their nuts and their milks and no sorry not milks and cheeses yeah which is super cool like a mm -hmm. zero waste product yes and it also like ridiculously and delicious, delicious and plant-based and zero waste a win, win, win. You want. a win 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 um if you didn't go and see our world plant milk day video have a look we did we posted a few days before that we wanted to do something for world plant milk day and we wanted to try some plant milks um and so we said we're going to do a live video and we just happened to have uh 95 bottles sent to us <laughs> so we tried them all how many brands was it like 40 it was 45, 45 different types of plant milks if you're Mad. stuck on how to go dairy free or you need to decide what's my favorite what is out there go and look at the video it's a live video it's on Nick tv and um have a look at the picture because you can see us like it's, gawking but, over but all these the bottles. thing is like that's that's not all of them no that's not all of them mm -mm. not People, even close uh, even what's the new one i heard Hops. 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 I think it's hops. I think it's hops. Yeah, it's anyway, like almond recent, and coconut or almond, cereal. No, no, no. Yeah, uh, it's grains and coconut. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Go check it out. Anyway, there's a lot of milks. And we still have some in our freezer, which we're defrosting every day for our coffees and teas. Tempted to buy an ice cream maker. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are 45 different types. So have a look and go and check that out. Um, we also shared an article on 10 ways to uh, fight climate change. So that's a fun little tips and tricks thing from our website. You can find that on RootTheFuture.com. Um, oh, yeah. So actually, RootTheFuture.com, we, um, we, when, we when we launched the Plant-Based Food Awards, we also launched, launched our new website. Mm -hmm. um, so on the website, you can see all of the articles that we posted up previously uh, in both English and Thai. Make sure that if you are Thai, mm -hmm. um, there is a little toggle button so you just press that and it will just take you straight to the Thai website. Yeah, we've got Thai and English language on there so useful for everyone. That's the same with the awards. If you want to vote in Thai or if you want to see the categories in Thai, go to the, the Thai version of the website. So yay, new website. Top right. Top right. Yeah. yeah, so that's fun. But um, we'll put all of these links below as well mm -hmm. in the description so you can go through and have a look and 
and, and give us some all love. of the links. Just root the future. All of them, all of them, <laughs> and the awards, and maybe some uh, all of the products that we're mm -hmm. mentioning as well. So also, Cad Cad Cocoa, Cad Cocoa, Cad Cocoa. <laughs> they had um, their anniversary um, event, and they released a plant-based dessert, which was the most spectacular piece of art chocolate I've ever seen. We sort of didn't want to eat it because it was amazing. It was made by Yanis, the um, the chef here, and they they collaborated together and they made this amazing plant based dessert, which it's looked like a cigar. Honestly, super, super, super cool. Mm -hmm. I've never really and it had salted caramel inside, and it was all plant based. Uh, praline as well, right? Mm -hmm. Oh man, so so good. Unfortunately, it was a one off, so you guys can't. Order ah, it, but, but the uh, they've but... got the shiso seed chocolate, right? Mm -hmm. And now they are in. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Brock and Co just launched yesterday. We went to the launch, which was really cool. It's basically Bangkok's first vegan dining hall. They have Hebe ice cream there. They've got Cad Cocoa. They've got um, Naturalista wines, and then obviously Broccoli Revolutions there. So um, Cad Cocoa is going to be there all the time now with their awesome. We, oh, we've got half. We've got half in the fridge. Actually, we should we should tell you about um, Kagakoa a little bit. When we went to their location in um, is that Saturn, I think it's Saturn. Yeah, in yeah. that kind of area, um, we realised they actually have like a mini chocolate factory there. And by default, so all of the the cocoa beans that they use are um, from their farm. So they're all local and they're all ethically sort uh, ethically um, grown, and it's all like super sustainable. And the same with their coffee beans; they're all local coffee beans as well. I think. Mm. Well, the um, coffee and the the cocoa bean are actually grown on the same plantations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just imagine, right? Just imagine walking down, <gasps> the, walking through the middle of this plantation, having the smell of the coffee mm -hmm. on one side and the smell of the cocoa on on the other side. Mm -hmm. I um, could just, I, 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 I can just live there. Um, but they, yeah, they basically got a mini chocolate factory. Um, <laughs> literally do yeah. in their shop and yeah. automatically all of their like um, standard chocolate bars are plant based because the only ingredients they have is the cocoa the cacao the raw cacao and natural cane sugar anyway we could talk about that place for ages go check them out at Broccoli Rep Brock & Co um, now because they're there so and they have, 20... they have the vegan Twix which they made which is like super fancy and gold and amazing yeah yeah and which we which we have Sukhum 49 mm -hmm. Uh, which we have what half of left already. I have to show uh, you guys. Okay. So next news, next, next news. Um, sustainable fashion in Bangkok. We feel like it's growing quite nicely. Um, we found uh, out last month that there were two um, clothes swap events kind of happening around the same time. So there was the swap to you drop event and the fashion revolution event. So we covered that because that's a super cool event for you to go and kind of like swap out some of the clothes that you don't want anymore and like shop sustainably and not waste any of your clothes. Fast fashion is a big topic yeah. that we'd love to get into, I think more on, mm -hmm. um, but probably not on this short roundup. No, we'll get into it another it's, time. It, it's, quite, it's quite lengthy mm -hmm. and I think it's it should be, an, it's an impactful, important. Um, it's quite an environmentally impactful um, Yes, there is a swap. That, so we were just about to mention thank that. Thank you, yeah. Stylish Suitcase. Yeah, so there is a swap or a swap to you drop on Tuesday the 22nd. And let me just check the location. It's different this time to normal. It's in Outdoor School, Bangkok. So go and head, go ahead to that and check it out. Um, and swap some clothes, do a bit of shopping and feel good about yourself. <laughs> so cat's just joined us. Um, so yes, Overshoot Day. We also covered Overshoot Day. If you guys don't know what Overshoot Day is, it's the day within the year where humanity's resource consumption of the year exceeds Earth's capacity to regenerate. So that actually happened and we covered it on the 22nd of August. Should we break I that down? Let's break that down because essentially what that means is that everything that we have, uh, the world has um, consumed. consumed, from that date onwards they're consuming more than has actually been produced. Or then can be regenerated. That can be regenerated mm -hmm. in that same year. So I think that date is really the date where, um, you know, we need to <laughs> think to try and get that date to December 29th, 29th, 30th, to the end of the year. Um, and an interesting thing about the Overshoot Day, so there is actually an Overshoot website you can go to and you can, um, hi Gam, sorry, she just said hi, hello. <laughs> um, do you have a link to the totally vegan wine screen, company yeah. you mentioned? Oh, well, we'll link we will it in the link that. below. It's called yeah. Natural Easter Wines. Yeah. 
anyway, sorry, overshoot day, they do have a link on their website and you can go and you can check what your personal overshoot day would be. So if you want to know how you can um, like live a more sustainable lifestyle or what you can do to help um, the world, go and check it out and put in all your information and you can find out what your personal, personal overshoot day is. Mm. And we did actually do this ourselves and we altered it, we did it the first time to how we eat and how we travel and everything. And the, the um, the date came out, I think, is December 20th, 27th or 27th. something, which is really cool, and we were, like, quite shocked. Um, and then we thought we would alter it just slightly. So the only thing we changed was the food. So we put it to, like, a meat-heavy, <clears throat> a dairy-heavy diet. And we kept all the other things the same. We kept the transport the same. We kept the house utilities and everything the same. And it came out mid-year. So I think that really shows what a humongous, humongous impact what we eat Three that's times just a day. One change. That's the, yeah. one change. Not not it's changing. Like an easy change, especially not, in Bangkok. As not well. changing anything else, like air travel, um, or or even local travel, or even electricity. Mm -hmm. So I mean, yeah, that's a very interesting resource. So if you want to go and check it out, go to um, the Overshoot website. I can't exactly remember what it is, but if you if you Google Overshoot Day, it'll be there. So go and check that. But, out. okay, so so let's let's actually just talk about this a little bit longer. So. Mm -hmm. The overshoot date this year was actually three weeks later, yeah. which really sounds like good news. It right? sounds like progress. It sounds like good news. But, <laughs> but because of COVID-19, that means that people are traveling less, mm -hmm. they're ordering more locally. So um, although that's, that's fantastic and that's what, that's what we want, that's being brought back and back and back and it's, back. It's that's also, it's also quite sad that that's been forced upon us. I mean, like it's caused a pandemic and actual quarantine and lockdown for the world just to get back to the resource consumption that it was in 2009. Mm. So it still isn't, isn't enough just to have everyone grounded. We really need to all um, see what we can do as individuals. And that's why I think that the, the calculator, the overshoot day calculator can be really, really, really valuable resource. So go and check it out. Go check it out. Next. Next one. We launched the plant-based food awards. Da, 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 da. We did a quick live video, but it wasn't a part of um, our monthly roundup. That's backwards. I think it's backwards oh, in it's the video. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. People, people understand. If I you haven't it. already, please, 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 please go and um, go to rootthefuture.com forward slash awards and vote because this is this is our way of trying to um, trying to advocate and congratulate all the plant-based options and the plant-based restaurants in Thailand, in Bangkok, Chiang Mai, Phuket. And um, we really, really feel like this could be an amazing way to show, like not just vegans and not just people who already eat plant-based, but everybody else. The everybody. Awesome food. Like this is the best of the best, And guys. the people, let's just show people the fact that plant-based food isn't carrots mm -hmm. and rice mm -hmm. and air. It's burgers, it's pizzas, it's falafels, it's Pitters, it's ice cream, ice creams, it's, it's brownies, it's chocolates, it's cakes, it's all the things that are salad. nice. It doesn't have to be a salad anymore. It can and be whatever you want it to be. It might just be the circles that we run in, but we think it's really cool. Like how many of these, uh, how many of the QR codes we're seeing around town? I almost feel like it's a little bit of like, oh, they, those guys have plant-based options. Those guys must have plant-based options because they've got the QR codes. Hey, anyway, it's very exciting. We we would love to uh, to try and get these into more. Um, like non-vegan, non-vegetarian places mm -hmm. to really advocate their plant-based options. Yeah. Because I think that's in, that's important, right? Yeah. We have to... So if we can show these places that the plant-based options are popular, maybe they'll add more. Maybe people who don't have plant-based options will add to their menus because they can see the huge demand. So yeah, let's, let's learn, like tell everyone about it. Please share our launch video. Tell everyone to vote. Um, yeah, so that's really exciting. And so the voting closes in two weeks on the 4th of October. So you've two just got weeks two weeks left. Forward. Only 14 days. Mm -hmm. Remember, there are 10 categories. Mm -hmm. uh, I won't tell you what they are, but go check out. Go check them out. Vote for them all. The link will be in the bio. Um, and I should just say, you can only vote one pa one, once per category per city. And if you vote more times, which the website does allow, the extra votes after your first one won't count. So they won't be counted in the final vote because the algorithm can see the things going on. That's it's all very, very technical. It's all very, very technical. technical. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, we should say, five lucky voters will win a 5,000 baht voucher five, to spend at the winning restaurant. Five people, 5,000 baht. Imagine bars. how much food you can buy with that. Yeah, that's a good mm -hmm. amount. And that, <laughs> that's not just one sitting. That's required. Yeah, you, can, you don't have to spend yeah. it all in one go. <laughs> you, you, I mean, you could, you could spend 20 baht. Go on, calculate. 20 baht 
thousand a thousand times two thousand <laughs> times anyway let's move on from this bad maths okay oh wow we still have a lot of news to go through okay that's okay right that's okay <laughs> we've got time so yes if you haven't voted please 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 vote already tell everyone about it share the video um, yeah um, we can just go on about this for a long time you can you can screen grab this right now if you want and then take it to your camera and go to the awards or you can do that or you could do that, couldn't you? We did also try a vegan fried egg this month. So um, a couple of months ago, we tried Bangkok City Diner's um, vegan egg yolk um, in their ramen, which is amazing. If you haven't tried it, go and check it out. It's a poppable egg yolk. But this is the first vegan fried egg we've seen, um, and it came to us frozen, which is kind of strange. Um, but it did look very much like a vegan egg, a vegan fried egg, and we fried it up with um, some no milk grocer butter, which is also great for cooking. Um, and it was it was strange. It was interesting because like when when you fry it, you know, you usually get that sort of white crispy um, outer, layer. outer layer on on the on the white a bit of the on the white bit of the egg, and it's, that that's that's what it did. Mm -hmm. So it did the, crisp up for the people that miss eggs. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Give it, it a, give it's it a made try. from tofu and uh, pumpkin, and it did. Oh, somebody's joining us. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> We have a tiger with us today, um, and it. <laughs> this is one of our cats who's actually taken a selfie of himself before, so maybe he wants to join. Um, it did actually taste like pumpkin and tofu rather than egg, but it was very delicious if you like tofu and pumpkin. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Um, hold on a second. Um, okay. And we also launched the I Voted campaign. So go and have a look at, we held some signs up and we asked people to tell us why they voted plant-based and why plant-based food is important to them personally. And it's a very interesting way to see all the different reasons why people are eating plant-based and why they want to vote for the Plant-Based Food Awards and really encourage the growth there. So yeah, yeah so, so we, we, we did a couple of, um, we did one each and mm -hmm. mine said that I want to see the rainforest because mm -hmm. obviously animal agriculture is <coughs> the leading cause of deforestation. Mm -hmm. So that was my that's that's my thing. And mine was about ocean plastic because it's the same thing, it's the, the biggest uh, cause of ocean plastic or the, the biggest the, the ocean plastic that's in the ocean at the moment, the majority of that is from fishing um, gear. So mm -hmm. that's a yeah, anyway, go and check it out so you can see everyone's reasons why they voted plant. -based. And do it yourself. And do it yourself. There we in, in our bio, in our Instagram bio, just click on that and it will come up with um, with the bit of paper. Mm -hmm. Just copy that down if you if you can't print it out, just write your own um, because and yeah, take a share picture it of with everybody. Share it with, yeah, share with us and share with everyone. Um, a couple of weeks ago, also Plan V, um, who we love, we absolutely love. I think Gam is watching now. Hello, Gam. Gam watching if she's still here. They took over our um, Instagram and they went to Suananda for lunch and they showed everybody how to vote for the Plant Based Food Awards and um, yeah, that was a really cute video. We love These watching two are those the two. The cutest. They're the so cutest. cool. Mm -hmm. And it's all in Thai for you guys um, who want to uh, listen to some content in Thai instead, so that was good. And go check out Plan V. Plan V are amazing. They take some incredible images and yeah. videos of, of, of epic it's vegan, vegan food. food porn. It is vegan food porn. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on I think so, live, yeah, yeah. I think, we're just gonna, I think we've got away with it. Um, there's also a new plant-based food delivery service that's just launched. Like Which last one? Week. Which one? There's like two of them recently. Launched. <laughs> There's loads of new ones, but um, the newest one that we found is Courageous Kitchen, and all all of their food is 100% vegan, and it's like 95% oil free. Like it notes on the menu what contains oil and what doesn't, and it's all Thai food. Um, and they've partnered with Farmtastic, so you can also order a organic box of fruits and veggies whilst you're ordering good, your vegan Thai food. So that's fun. Before we go on. Don't forget, stick around. We've got some incredible yeah, if news. You, if you're thinking of leaving, just news. don't do it. Just don't. Just just watch <laughs> for the end. Very exciting announcement. Yes. Stay are, tuned. Are you trying to get the you're trying to get the noise up? I knew it. I knew you were going to try. <laughs> when we <laughs> you carry on, I'll find it. Um, yeah. So if you've just joined us, I'm Max. This is Joe. We're Root the Future. Oh, hello. We want to grow the plant-based industry mm -hmm. in Thailand. Um, right now, we have the awards. Plant Based Food Awards, and we are telling everybody to go and vote on their favorite plant meats, their favorite plant milks, their favorite restaurants, their dishes, Thai dishes, cakes, desserts, what, whatever there is. <laughs> go to rootthefuture.com mm -hmm. forward slash awards. And stick around until the end because we have a very, very special announcement. There it is. <laughs> okay, moving on. What's next? 
Plan V. So we spoke about Plan V. Um, okay. Also, we tried Bangkok City Diners tiramisu as oh, well. If you haven't tried it, I have really been craving a tiramisu for a, for a long time because that's that's my that would be my go-to dessert. Mm -hmm. That's my go-to dessert. Mm -hmm. These guys. These guys do a very good They tiramisu. do it real well. It's a real very good. good tiramisu. They also just launched a vegan cheese toasty. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, was it cheesy toasty, I think it's, it's called? It's cheese, cheese toast, toasty cheese. Cheese melt. It's a cheese melt. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've seen pictures of it, but we haven't tried it yet. So you it pulls go apart it like real mm -hmm. cheese. And also, I should mention, if you haven't voted on your favorite dessert on the Plant-Based Food Awards, go and do it. It's time. We're not pushing anybody to go to... to <laughs> Bangkok City Diner. There are a masses of restaurants available. Go to them to if you like. They've got great desserts. Um, where next? What's next? What's next? Oh yes, Moy and Eve also took over our, our um, Instagram and um, did oh, live they video. Oh, so for they us. went to oh Good we, Souls. We should say. Did you say Plan V went to Sunanda? Yes, I did say. Oh, you did. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So um, Moy and Eve went to Good Souls. Good Souls. Yeah. And which they... we've talked about <laughs> about ten minutes mm -hmm. ten, ten minutes before. Uh, but it's a, it's an amazing restaurant that's just opened, and they had what like, I can't, what did they eat? They had the pumpkin salad. soup and the smoothie bowls. Anyway, they spoke mm. loads about the awards and they showed the food. So go and have a look at the uh, live video that they did, um, which is really cool as well. Um, we also headed to Lee J Vegetarian in, in Yara. Yara, and we took some pictures of their food. That is one of our favourite J places in Bangkok to go to. Um, and we just wanted to really show some J food and sort of get people excited about voting for the J vendors. And because J Festival, Tessa Kang and J is, is coming. coming up, it's mm -hmm. very, very soon. It's just under a month. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so have a look at that food. And also while you're at it, tell us, what your favorite, uh, tell us who your favorite J seller is and mm -hmm. vote for them. Why not? It's not like Do we're it. pushing this award. So I know, I know. <laughs> Um, and also something that happened within the last week was Starbucks, Starbucks launched their plant-based um, food menu. And we, I have to say we were very excited to see such a mainstream company doing this and it is very exciting to see this initiative. Um, however, we did find out, oops, <laughs> we did find out that most of the plant-based menu actually wasn't 100% plant-based. So that was quite disappointing. So they, they have... Um they make two of the chocolate drinks with cocoa powder and the cocoa sauce. Mm. Now, usually cocoa doesn't have milk in it or milk powder, but Starbucks Thailand, they add dairy milk into these, into the cocoa powder and to the sauce. So it does mean that their uh, plant-based drinks aren't necessarily plant-based, mm -hmm. even though that they use the oat milk. Um, they still add the chocolate. You so. can make, so if you want to go to Starbucks and if you do want to try this plant-based, ish menu um just make sure you ask for no co uh, no chocolate syrup and no whipped cream and steer clear of the beyond meat sandwich they do have a j um bun which is really tasty so check that one out instead um and yeah. the uh, the the green matcha tea is um is is plant-based but just tell them not to put the topping on mm -hmm. just tell them not to put the topping on the top because they will add chocolate to that yeah. also um, next, we tried some goodies from Alt Kitchen, um, and Alt Kitchen have, it's basically like 95% of the food on the menu is vegan, and she has cookies and breads and butter. We tried the cranberry coconut um, muffins, the chocolate, uh, no, sorry, not chocolate, the peanut and oatmeal cookies. Mm -hmm. what else we, tried? we had bread buns, <laughs> which six... lasted about five minutes. We opened up this delivery pack, mm -hmm. and we just smelt the bread buns, and we were just like, let's okay. just... The pack of six, mm -hmm. right? we were just like, let's just It's very unusual to find, I think uh, it's very unusual to find, firstly, vegan bread in Bangkok, but also vegan bread that's not got this sweet flavor. So mm. they were really like almost sourdough buns. They were very good. And they did last about two and a half minutes. But we didn't even put, we didn't even put anything in them. No, they didn't need we spread, just nothing. We ripped just, them apart yeah. and, and devoured them. Anyway, go check out Alt Kitchen's menu. It's a really, they also have a, a chai, they have a pistachio milk, pumpkin milk. And the chai that we tried as well was really good. Also, good. Also went in about thirty seconds. Well, look, we've got a comment. We should, we should, we should say here that. The problem with plant-based food in Thailand is they are too expensive. That, in general, cannot afford. That is true. I think that a lot. There are quite a lot of um, kind of higher-end vegan restaurants that sometimes are quite expensive or the the higher end of the price range. But saying that, you can find a lot that are within a reasonable price range. Even if you go to like. Terminal 21 food court, you can get a meal for 40 baht and it's vegan. 
Um, so there are alternatives. There, there are. I think. I think what she's trying to say. I think what Lynn is. Sorry, Lynn is trying to say is that like when plant-based or the word plant-based is used, it instantly pushes up the price. Mm. And I think that's an important point to raise because you, you, you're right. That's you're true. right. I mean, there are obviously there are local. Uh, J sellers here, mm -hmm. and also unintentionally, accidentally vegan sellers like the uh, the donuts and the lots of canons, mm -hmm. um, but they don't use the word and the terminology plant based. Mm -hmm. But if they did, maybe that price would go up. So mm -hmm. it's, I think it's a, a double edged one. sword because it's really cool that plant based food is becoming trendy and that people are actually realizing that you can actually use it as a marketing tool because it's so trendy. However, mm -hmm. that does come with some concerns when people use the word only for marketing and they don't know what it means and also when they are driving the price up only because they're using this word so i think that that's that's a yeah it's a double-edged sword because we want the industry to grow but we also want everyone to be able to afford it so yeah and, and we really we advocate saying that can i just say mm. if you don't eat out all the time it does make it very very cheap because vegan food is the most the cheapest food in the world if you buy potatoes and bananas and veggies and fruit it's the cheapest food in the entire world rice is cheap beans are cheap so i mean it depends how much you cook at home if you if you want to favor cooking at home more you can eat pretty darn and cheaply thailand, in thailand. thailand is a place regionally where you can get an abundance mm -hmm. of, of fruit and vegetables because that's key is to make sure that you get a lot of of different things yeah um, and Thailand's great for that because of the weather is tropical. Mm -hmm. So a lot of d different foods grow here that you need. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's that's. I, we, we get into we get into um, the nutrition side of plant based another time. But um, let's, let's continue. But, yeah, let's, let's continue. On. We have more. Um, oh yes. So on Thursday we got a sneak peek at Vistro's fine dining um, elevated three course menu. Um, and we posted the video about it today. They launched the fine dining yesterday, and I think it's on until the 27th. Um, and that was really, really amazing. Um, we tried the crostini for the appetizer. Oh, what, what else did they have? The, the coffee um, chocolate dessert. Oh, the... It's really, really good. So my, my favorite, personally, because I've got a sweet tooth, is the was the chocolate coffee dessert, because this thing was amazing. I think Vistro have mad skills when it comes to chocolate yeah yeah really they really do um they have um so this chocolate coffee dessert Hi, boss. is um uh, uh uh it's got like salted caramel covering the top of it I, I, should i go into this i probably go should and watch actually. the video oh go God, check it out you can see for yourself how delicious it's so, it is so so good um let's read this the biggest challenge for university students who advocate for plant-based to afford yes that's very true i think that a lot of the mainstream restaurants they are are not very affordable to um, to students and I mean maybe a lot of people um, but I think that maybe we need to do a some sort of content to show the accidentally vegan food here in Bangkok because there is a lot and it doesn't have to be expensive um, and like I said the food courts there's lots of um, go to Nawamin the Santi Asok they've got meals vegan meals for like 40 baht so I think maybe we need to we need to create a affordable vegan map. I think so. Hi, mm. Dal. Hi, Dal. <laughs> Dal, you're a celebrity. <laughs> People know you. Um, okay. Is that all the news before our very special announcement? Hold on. Let me just check the news board. I think it is. We're just keeping everybody in okay. limbo here. Before we before we um, announce this very special announcement, um, again, please share the food awards and also. Um, keep an eye out. Our, um, so the awards close on the 4th of October. Keep your eye out on the 16th of October. Go and buy a Bangkok post because the full page 7 will be showing you all the winners and there will be the first people to announce the winners. Um, and it will be the full page, page 7. The whole of page 7 Go Bangkok post. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very Here special we go. announcement. Here we go. Drum roll. Hold on, hold on. We need the sound effects. Oh, 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 Joe! You're gonna, you're gonna have I'm to gonna do, that do again. I'm gonna do it again. Sorry, guys. We have a very special, a very special announcement. announcement. <laughs> a very special announcement. Okay, let's get into it. We are very, very, very. My heart is pounding right now. That's how it's excited okay. I am. It's okay. It's okay. You got I'll take this. a breath. You got this. Okay. okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Let's get into it. 
we are very, very, very excited to announce that on October 17th and 18th, the day after Two the um, Plant-Based Food Awards winners will be announced. And the start of the Tessa King J. And the start of the J Festival, we will be hosting Asia's biggest plant-based and sustainability festival. <gasps> what? We're so excited. It's going over to be a 60, full weekend. Over 60 vendors. 65. Uh, over 65 vendors. And that's what? That's... Food, that's lifestyle, that's sustainable. Mm -hmm. Right, we, we've got the list here. We've got oh, everything. Oh, go through the list. Okay, so we've got, we've got, <laughs> where's the list? Go through the list. <laughs> um, so let me, let me think. We've got desserts, we've got cakes, we've got burgers, we've got noodles, we've got dumplings, ice we've creams, we've got bamboo products, brownies, we've got wicker products, we've got precious cho plastics chocolates. will be there doing workshops. We've got Coffee. talks. We have a panel of plant-based doctors who are going to do a talk. We have another plant-based triathlete doctor who is going to come and do a talk. We have a plant-based protein panel. We've got movie screenings. Well, what movie we've screening got, do we we've have? Got, <laughs> Game changes. We've got pledge area. We've got, I'm sorry, I've got goosebumps. I'm so <laughs> excited. When okay, and where? When, when and where? where? Yes, important question. We will, we, well, let's move on to oh, that. 17th and the 18th of October. Mm -hmm. And it will be held in San Siri backyard. So San Siri is one of our partners for this, and um, we're so we're so excited. And we're super. Th we should mention also our sponsors. We're super thankful for our sponsors. Sponsors: San Siri, NRF, and No Foods, and they're all helping us to make this amazing festival. And without possible. them, this wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. And w they are seriously true pioneers to, yeah. to growing and encouraging this whole ecosystem, like yeah. plant life ecosystem. Um, yes, yeah, so that's um, October 17th and 18th, and we will, um, in about 10, 15 minutes, we will put the event page link in our description, and we will share everything with you. The we posters. should also mention, really, it's free to attend. Free festival, Entirely guys. free. San Siri, San Siri Backyard, which is T77 Community in Onnut. Um, so we'll share the link to the um, the drop pin and everything on the event page, but it's an on San Siri backyard, which is next to their organic farm. Amazing. I know. Um, and yeah, T77 um, community. Just, just and come also, and hang out and one more with us. thing that we should announce, which is very exciting. Oh, the there barbecues. is a brand new plant based meat, Future Meats, which will be launching at the festival, and they will be running the vegan barbecue. So they'll be selling um, future meat burgers, which you can come and try. And this will be the first time anyone in Thailand has ever tried their plant-based meat. So we're so thankful we're going to be there. I would suggest in our last market, the burgers, um, what, they ran out in, they, uh, they okay. sold out in what, like an hour and a half? Burgers. Yeah, I know, but still get there early. Come early. We should we also start, mention. We start from 2 p.m. and we finish at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. on both days. Yeah. And we should also mention they're also going to have future steamed gyoza, future steamed buns, future steamed dumplings, which is, I'm, I'm going to be at that stand. And oh, I think Max is going to be at the burger. Like, yeah. yeah, we're so excited. So make sure you just come with like all your uh, refillable containers because the refill stations will be there again um, for zero waste products and zero waste food. Um, and yeah, make sure you bring an appetite and some bags and some refillable containers and refillable bottles. Come and hang out, have some food, watch some movie screenings. And an I'm open, so excited. And come with an open mind. Mm -hmm. Because these talks, these chats, these like mm -hmm. these panel discussions that we have, oh, gonna, they're going to be so fun. They're so mm -hmm. ent like educational, entertaining. Even just talking to the guys that are going to be talking there is inspirational. Yeah. Like, let alone having them on stage doing a panel. So, so. one of the doctors, a triathlete. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's let him explain at the festival. Oh, Just yeah, wait. Yeah, but it's, it's exciting. <laughs> so we're going to put the link event in our bio in about 10 minutes, so stay tuned for that. And we will also put the full list of vendors on um, the event page very shortly once they're all, you know, confirmed and everything. We've got about <laughs> 60 um, on the list and confirmed right now. Which is mad! <laughs> Absolutely um, insane. So, what, what did you say? We'll just give a list of all of the vendors. We're going to tell confirmed. you everybody who's there, and also we're going to tell you about the workshops in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be announcing those, and don't forget to click going on the event page. Yes, because and we share need to, it. And share it, and we need to tell um, all of our vendors to make sure they've got enough food. So make sure you click going. So we need, you know, we need all the plant-based food to be abundant. We do, yes. A lot and Yindi and a will also place. be there to help us rescue any food left over at the end. So yes, 
exciting stuff huh that's everything exciting. and we are very excited please 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 share um the event page with the world and also <laughs> The, uh, the awards, don't forget the awards. I know this is very exciting for us to have the, the festival and everything going on, but we can't forget the awards. So I think that's... Well, yeah, but I'm let's, let's say now. that there are going to be a lot of people that have um, taken part in the awards, a lot of the restaurants and they're other gonna businesses. They're going to be there. So this mm -hmm. is really a great opportunity to just come and try everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. And we're yeah. aiming to be able to organize it just in time to be able to get the winners to come as well. So... If you have just joined, October 17th and 18th, Asia's biggest plant-based and sustainability festival. <laughs> so thanks everybody for watching. Share this video over us. Share the event page. Share the awards. Just share the love. Share everything. Share the love. And thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. We're going to... Yeah. We're gonna leave now. Well, if you don't, when, <laughs> if you if you uh, don't see us at the festival, then you'll probably see us at the next monthly roundup. You will see right. us at the festival. We'll be we'll be by uh, the food stands, all of the food stands. <laughs> we'll just be shoving our face with foods, mm -hmm. but please come say hi. Mm -hmm. right. So um, we hope to see you all there, and um, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, how do I end on Facebook? <laughs>